the discovery of a new exoplanet has energized stargazers, raising the possibility that there is evidence of life existing beneath the surface for a considerable amount of time. The dream of discovering life on Earth in the past has long piqued human curiosity, and thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, the dream may soon come true. The telescope has discovered an intriguing secret in Proxima Centauri, the nearest star system to Earth. Among its planets, Proxima stands apart with strange, faint lights. Could this be the much-awaited evidence of alien life beyond our solar system? The global astronomical community is puzzled and fascinated. How can scientists determine whether these lights suggest that Proxima has extraterrestrial life? Join us as we explore the ways in which the James Webb Telescope recently stood out. People have always been incredibly curious about the secrets of the universe, and with technological breakthroughs, that curiosity has grown. Seven trillion miles beyond Earth, our innate desire to explore the Earth and sky persists. Throughout millennia of progress, the age-old debate of whether humans are the primary inhabitants of the cosmos remains. Since Earth is the only planet we know to support life among the stars, we continue to search for answers. Two American cosmologists, Jill Tarter and that's Pearson, started a venture called Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, in 1984. This nonprofit effort aims to sift through infinite space, focusing on spaceborne radio transmissions. These radio waves are capable of traveling vast distances and are the primary means for potential extraterrestrial communication. To this end, 42 radio telescopes located in the heart of California's Cascade Mountains were carefully tuned to the frequencies of the universe, known as the Allen Telescope Array. These instruments were designed to capture any extraterrestrial signals. While scientists have scanned the sky for reliable signals over many years, to date, there is no convincing evidence for a signal originating from an advanced extraterrestrial civilization. However, recent reports from NASA suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, may have spotted artificial city lights on nearby planets. The successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope marks a significant step forward in mankind's understanding of the universe. Located approximately one million miles from Earth, it is the most advanced instrument in human history for studying the contents of the universe. It provides us with a window into the early epochs of the universe by bringing previously subtle observations closer to Earth, shedding light on how systems, stars, and planets are formed beyond simple observation. JWST's advanced cameras and filters allow astronomers to capture and analyze the intricate colors surrounding celestial objects. With its unparalleled ability to see beyond the bounds of reality, JWST scans the skies for signs of life on exoplanets and has led to some of the most remarkable discoveries. For instance, astronomers have found more massive worlds hidden in several massive worlds than previously thought to exist just 20 years ago. The region beyond our solar system was once largely unknown and devoid of known planets. However, astronomers have since discovered over 4,000 exoplanets orbiting distant stars, remarkable feats of human ingenuity and technological advancement. According to NASA, this discovery has challenged earlier conceptions about the layout and scope of the universe. With humanity now eager to explore the farthest reaches of the universe, trillions more exoplanets likely exist. As a result, scientists are passionately searching for extraterrestrial life, which may represent only the tip of a much larger iceberg. During the Galileo probe's journey to Jupiter, its spectroscopic instrument unexpectedly revealed a specific spectral signature indicative of earthbound vegetation. This remarkable discovery marks the first time researchers have observed the vegetation red edge shifting our perspective on extraterrestrial life. Differently, by focusing on how it mirrors light, JWST is expected to unveil clues about extraterrestrial conditions by meticulously mapping the orbital parameters of potentially habitable distant exoplanets within the habitable zones of their parent stars. JWST could uncover key signs of life. The particles and atoms in these layers absorb, break down, and transmit different frequencies when light from a star reaches a planet. JWST will be able to distinguish it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. As a result, JWST could be crucial in revealing the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets, a fundamental sign of their potential for Earth-like life. 
on Earth-sized planets, this absorption creates a distinct array of otherworldly patterns akin to unique fingerprints that can be deciphered through spectroscopic analysis. Those boasting atmospheres similar to Earth's, rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, may present conditions conducive to life as we know it. Conversely, the absence of certain elements or the presence of unusual combinations may indicate other forms of life or even technological civilizations. Researchers might find it easier to validate the existence of an extraterrestrial civilization by identifying intriguingly discovered chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, artificial compounds primarily used for industrial and refrigeration purposes. If JWST detects these synthetic molecules in exoplanet atmospheres, it could unlock new avenues for extraterrestrial activity beyond our solar system. This prospect excites astronomers as it could provide new insights into the climate systems of other planets and the potential existence of alien civilizations far beyond the Milky Way. The discovery of extraterrestrial life also presents numerous opportunities that transcend the scope of natural science. While we tend to think of life flourishing in peaceful settings like ours, the reality may be far more varied and extreme. For instance, extremophiles, a fascinating group of organisms primarily composed of microorganisms, challenge our conception of what constitutes a suitable living environment. These resilient organisms can thrive in environments typically deemed harsh. The infinite dynamics of the universe and the countless circumstances that surround it suggest that our search for extraterrestrial life must be comprehensive. Reference planets similar to Earth orbiting stable, sun-like stars offer promising prospects. Exoplanets orbiting red dwarf stars, which are more common in the universe, would also be excellent candidates for study. Although these stars are dimmer and cooler than our sun, they provide excellent opportunities to investigate life under different conditions. Red dwarf stars have long lifespans, allowing ample time for the slow, intricate processes of life's formation and evolution to unfold. Located just 40 light years away from Earth, one planetary system stands out as a potential focal point, the TRAPPIST-1 system. The James Webb Space Telescope's JWST mission focuses on this magnificent system, which orbits a serene red dwarf star comprising seven rocky planets approximately the size of Earth. Three of these planets, classified as habitable, are smaller and colder than Earth but likely contain water on their surfaces. Among the several stars in the TRAPPIST-1 system, one emits a soft, Earth-like glow conducive to hosting life on its orbiting planets. In the cosmic neighborhood, Proxima Centauri stands as the closest star to Earth, located 4.25 light-years away from the Sun. As a potential benchmark, it appears as a faint glow barely visible in the night sky. However, its faint radiation suggests that any planet orbiting it should maintain close proximity to the Sun. If this criterion is not met, none of the planets will be able to support conditions similar to those on our planet. On August 24, 2016, cosmologists made the astounding discovery that a planet 1.3 times the mass of Earth resides within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone. This Goldilocks zone is ideal for melting ice to create water and may even support the seeds of life, providing a delicate balance of light intensity. Proxima b orbits around Proxima Centauri, its host star, remarkably only 4.6 million miles away. However, it faces several harsh conditions that make it inhospitable for life. Proxima b lies extremely close to Proxima Centauri, exposing it to strong solar winds that can strip away its atmosphere, rendering it barren. Despite its proximity, Proxima b receives enough sunlight for its diminutive star to maintain Earth-like temperatures where water remains liquid. However, this close orbit may lead to tidal locking where one side of the equator remains perpetually illuminated while the other remains in complete darkness. This scenario resembles the interaction between the Moon and Earth in our planetary system. Proxima Centauri, which is only 18% of the mass of the Sun, shines weakly due to receiving significantly less light than anticipated and being so close to Proxima b, which is only 5% of Earth's distance from the Sun. Proxima Centauri defies traditional notions of what it means to host life, as despite the challenges posed by its close orbit and the potential loss of its atmosphere to solar winds, Proxima b might not be the blazing hell one would expect for a planet so close to its star. If Proxima b possesses a protective atmosphere capable of trapping heat, liquid water may or may not exist on its surface, 
exposing the intriguing potential for habitability. Proxima B offers compelling possibilities beyond Earth, receiving only 65% of Earth's solar energy, making it unlikely to support life. Proxima B is also subjected to intense radiation, including X-rays and ultraviolet light, due to its potential tidal locking, which creates extreme temperature differences between its scorching day and frigid night. Additionally, Proxima B is bombarded by high-energy particles during stellar flare-ups, which could strip away its atmosphere and eliminate the conditions necessary for life to thrive. Unlike Earth, where volcanic activity replenishes the atmosphere, Proxima B lacks such mechanisms for atmospheric renewal. Reasonable modeling suggests that tidally locked planets like Proxima B may experience rapid atmospheric collapse when volatile gases freeze out on the night side. The mysteries surrounding Proxima B extend beyond its surface conditions to its actual potential for harboring advanced civilizations. Currently, our knowledge offers little insight into Proxima B's volcanic activity or the strength of its magnetic field. However, the tantalizing prospect of an atmosphere fuels speculation about the planet's actual potential for hosting life. The presence of an atmosphere on Proxima B would imply the presence of oceans and raise the prospect of life. The quest to uncover signs of natural developments on Proxima B is driven by the hypothesis that such organisms might have devised clever solutions to overcome the planet's inhospitable conditions. One intriguing concept suggests deploying massive solar panels across Proxima B's dayside. These panels would harness the star's energy to illuminate and warm the perpetually dark and cold nightside. Such an endeavor could transform the desolate landscape into habitable zones capable of supporting life. The recent discovery of Proxima B has also sparked a heated race among astronomers to determine if it transits its star's face as seen from Earth. These transits would allow scientists to measure the planet's size and mass, thereby determining its density, confirming its rocky composition, and offering insights into the materials that make up its rocks. Moreover, Information about Proxima B's atmosphere composition and habitability can be gleaned from starlight passing through its atmosphere during these transits. The possibility of extrasolar life and human curiosity for knowledge has made the investigation of Proxima B, despite its challenges, a top priority. Another consideration is the tumultuous nature of Proxima Centauri, which can produce large flares. According to Columbia University cosmologist David Kipping, the star's instability complicates studying Proxima B's habitability, since rocky planets typically emit infrared radiation and absorb sunlight. Proxima's infrared signature differs from that of its host star, offering unique observational opportunities for the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. Because JWST can detect infrared frequencies, it serves as a savior. Proxima's unique infrared intensity signature will enable us to unlock the climate's mysteries. JWST's advanced infrared imaging capabilities are fully capable of unraveling the mysteries surrounding Proxima B's atmospheric components and offering fresh perspectives on its potential habitability. Additionally, JWST's infrared sensitivity enables exploration of Proxima B's nightside. Despite the formidable challenge of detecting even the faintest artificial light against the vast darkness, JWST will be able to confirm rumors of city lights on Proxima B's nightside thanks to its advanced technology. Proxima B's temperature exhibits an intriguing correlation between its surface features and celestial interactions. As Proxima B completes its orbit around its host star, the two sides of the planet encounter identical conditions. If the planet's dayside is equipped with sufficient solar panels, it will harness the star's radiant energy, while its spectral edge efficiently reflects incoming light rays, resulting in warm daytime highs and chilly nighttime lows. However, the extent of temperature fluctuations depends on the planet's composition. Without the moderating effects of seas and atmospheric gases, Proxima B's two sides would differ significantly. If the planet lacks an atmosphere, the night side would plunge into icy darkness, while the day side would radiate heat like a black body. With Proxima's unique infrared light, astronomers can learn a great deal about its climatic structure by measuring the degree of temperature variation. With its imaging capabilities, JWST will examine the planet's thermal emissions, providing invaluable information about its atmospheric composition. Amazingly, JWST's orbit around Earth coincides with Proxima's orbital period, 
allowing for continuous observation of both its day side and night side. Assuming Proxima b has an atmosphere, the next challenge will be to analyze the chemistry of that atmosphere to determine whether it can support life. Although the James Webb Space Telescope offers significant opportunities for characterizing planetary atmospheres, the analysis requires meticulously capturing and analyzing light beams interacting with or passing through Proxima's atmosphere. Gases such as oxygen, water vapor, or even methane, if present, serve as good indicators of habitable conditions and potential life. While JWST is primarily designed to study variations in methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor concentrations, there may still be grounds to look for additional compounds, including ozone, which could reveal details about the planet's intrinsic energy content. Additionally, JWST can only observe a limited number of nearby potentially habitable worlds, limiting its ability to conduct a comprehensive atmospheric study. As we eagerly await the deployment of future space telescopes, astronomers are turning to ground-based observatories like the Very Large Telescope, ELT, set to begin operations in 2028. The ELT is uniquely positioned to delve deeper into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets, providing remarkable insights into their habitability. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, remains an essential instrument. Despite its limited ability to detect enhanced oxygen, a potent life marker, the telescope is primarily designed to study variations in methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor concentrations. Nevertheless, there may still be grounds to look for additional compounds, including ozone, which may reveal details about the planet's intrinsic energy content. Additionally, JWST can only observe a small number of nearby potentially habitable worlds, limiting its ability to conduct a comprehensive atmospheric study. As we eagerly await the deployment of future space telescopes, astronomers are turning to ground-based observatories like the Very Large Telescope, ELT, set to begin operations in 2028. The ELT is uniquely positioned to delve deeper into the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets, providing remarkable insights into their habitability. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, remains an essential instrument.